Hey YouTube again! Finally got to record my haul video from the Beauty Expo. Um, I, if you don't know what the Beauty Expo is, it's basically an event for beauty therapists and makeup artists to attend. Um, that's all wholesale prices and you can buy hair products, beauty products and makeup. And um, I bought quite a lot while I was there. Um, I went about two weeks ago now and this haul is finally being recorded. It's sort of been sitting in a bag in my room for a while because I've been very, very busy. Um, but I'll get started and I'll show you what I bought. Um, basically, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about each product and then I'm going to put them on my blog and I'm going to review them and maybe do some tutorials with them and yeah. see if you might like it as well. Um, so the first product I'll talk about is one of my favourite fake tans. I bought this back in 2008 when I went to the Beauty Expo when I was first learning to be a beauty therapist. And I really, really liked this fake tan. It was easy to apply, it wasn't streaky or runny, it was a really good consistency. Um, I got the dark self tan. You can get, I think, a medium and a light one. Um, but I like to be very, very tanned when I've um, put a fake tan on. I think there's no point otherwise because I'm really really pale and I like to be dark I like to be tanned um, so this it doesn't really smell too bad um, I haven't applied it recently yet um, but back when I had it in 2008 it smelt amazing it didn't really smell too biscuity at all so I'll smell it again no it smells like um, uh, oil of Olay the old Oh, it's not, I think they still have an oil of LA moisturizer. Um, so I actually really, 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 really like the smell. And um, so I got two of those in their little pump bottles. Um, you could buy a really, really huge bottle, but it didn't have a pump with it. So I just got two of the smaller ones. Um, then I got the face tan in the same brand. And I've never tried this one before. Um, back then I only tried the fake tan for the body. Um, but I was excited to use a face tan. I've never really used um, tan on my face before unless I'm getting a spray tan and they just go over your face. Um, so this will be interesting and I'll see how it goes. Hopefully I don't end up looking horrible. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, I think it smells the same. It smells... A little bit different to the body tan. It smells a little bit more chemically, if that makes sense. It doesn't have as nice a smell, but it's not horrible or anything. Um, and then the other two things I got in the same brand were some tanning mitts for summer tan. Um, when I bought this back in 2008, they didn't have these, so I'm very excited to try these out because I've only ever applied it with gloves on or bare hands and just wash my hands afterwards. Um, so I'm excited to see how this goes and hopefully it gives you a better, better application and um, more of a nicer finish. So hopefully that ends up really good and no orange hands then. Um, and then the next products, I was very, very excited about this because we don't have Essie nail polish, I think, in Australia. At least not where I am. I've never seen it for sale in any of the department stores. Um, so they had an Essie counter and it was huge. It had every colour under the sun, every nail polish ever possible. And the girls at the counter were very lovely. So if any of the girls at the Essie counter from the Beauty Expo in Sydney are watching, you, you are amazing and very, very helpful. <laughs> um, I got a few colours. I got four colours in big sizes. Um, I got this one which is probably not coming up very true um, colour the, on the actual camera but it's a very vivid bright electric purple and it's called Bermuda Shorts I love the names they give them so I really like that one and the next one I got was a red and it's called Fifth Avenue it's coming up more orange on camera um, but it's pretty much a fire engine red. The next one I got, I don't actually normally buy colours like this. But it's a sort of shimmery deep blue, um, deep blue nail polish. And it's called Aruba Blue. 
Um, I don't normally wear blue on my nails just because I think it can look, I don't know, because I'm so pale it kind of almost looks sickly if I wear it but I figure I've got my fake tan and it'll look really nice with that so and then you can also do some cool nail art with this as well so that should be exciting and this one I was very excited about this is mint candy apple and I'm actually wearing it right now on my nails um, this is one of the very popular colors I've noticed with everyone on YouTube um, everyone seems to own mint candy apple so I was very excited. Um, try after trying it out, I would have to say that I prefer Revlon's Minted um, for application. The colors are very very similar, um, but I felt like Revlon's Minted went on a little bit smoother. And this one, I don't know, maybe because I've never used it before, but I found it a little bit too runny. That's the only downfall. Otherwise, I absolutely adore the color. And the next thing I got was Essie's Spring Collection. Um, we're coming into spring in Australia now at the moment, so for everyone that's overseas it might sound a little bit strange. Um, but I really, really like these colours. They're pastel colours. That one is Topless and Barefoot. It's the sandy sort of colour. Nice is Nice is... Which colour is that one? This purple one here. And French Affair is the pink one. And Cote de Jura is the blue one. And they're all basically pastel, um, pastel colours. Um, they kind of remind me of like, I don't know, a pretty desert at, at after sunset. Really, really like those. Um, and the next two things I got from Essie were the drying drops. Now, I just used these today. Um, it comes with a little bottle of drops, of the drops, and a little applicator. Oops, it's leaking still. Um, so I used these today and they worked really, really well. Um, it says it dries in a matter of seconds. Dr nails will dry within seconds. It's not seconds. Um, it took a little bit longer, probably about a minute for them to fully um, kick in and really be solid. Um, the top layers would definitely dry within seconds, but you could still feel, um, if you've got more than one coat on your nails, um, you could still feel the bottom layers are a little bit moist. Um, so it took about a full minute to penetrate to the bottom layers as well. So. Um, but they're really good. I really liked those. And the next thing I used is the three-way glaze. And this one actually leaked in my bag on the plane ride home. I, I think maybe my bag was tossed around a little bit because the lid was on really, really, really tight. Um, but it leaked all through the box, so I had to throw the box away. Um, but basically what it is, it's a nail strengthener, a base coat and a top coat all in one which I really really liked because I hate having to get out my base coat and my top coat. Never used a nail strengthener before so that was a bit of a bonus for me. Um, so that is definitely a great product. I used that today as well. And I was very very happy with it. it I mean there's not much that can really go wrong with a base coat or a top coat. Um, I think the ultimate test for a base coat is when you apply it underneath a really dark polish and see if the, any of the dark polish gets stained on your toenails or fingernails. Um, so I'll do that one day and I'll do a proper review on each of these products. Um, the next thing I got really excited about, this is some makeup. Um, the brand is called Eye of Horus. So obviously it's Egyptian. Um, their stall was amazing. They dressed to the nines, those girls. They had Cleopatra wigs, they had the makeup, they had the outfit. Um, it was truly amazing to watch and it actually inspired me to do my 21st birthday as a dress up party and I'm going to go as Cleopatra. Um, so I really, really liked what they did. Um, so the first thing I got was the liquid eyeliner. And I actually swatched this on my hand Saturday morning and it didn't come off until Monday evening and I thought that was insane. So obviously it's waterproof. They do actually just say it's water resistant but I would 
go as far as to say it's waterproof um, unless it really liked my skin and wanted to stay on me um, I didn't I obviously didn't use any oil-based products on my hand I just wanted to see what would happen if just water hit my hand where it was and see how long it lasted and it lasted from Saturday morning to Monday evening so that was amazing and because of that I had to buy the mascara as well and they call this water resistant as well so I wonder if it'll be just as water resistant as the eyeliner um, but I'm excited about that to test it the out. Next one is um, they're called TK Lashes eyelash extensions. Um, this was exciting. Um, I When I went to the counter I had no idea what they were talking about. It didn't look like normal eyelash extensions. I thought they were selling proper kits um, for a salon to use. Um, but it's actually basically a mascara but it's very interesting. Um, first of all you use what is called a transplanting gel which is basically just a coat of mascara, just looks like a normal mascara. You put that on first and then you use the fibers. Now these literally are fibers. Um, it looks like little hairs on a brush. It looks kind of gross, <laughs> but um, they're literally a bunch of fibers. You can sort of see that. Um, and they stick to the transplanting gel and they extend each eyelash and the fibers attach to the ends of the eyelash and make them longer. And I tried this out um, and it was really, really good. I, th I thought it was quite fascinating. A um, bit different to the usual tubing mascaras. I know they're kind of similar, but this is a completely new kettle of fish. So I really, really, really liked it. I got so excited. And it's such a pretty case. I like that. And it's pink. I love pink. Um, the next thing I got was inspired by what I'm going to do for Cleopatra for my costume for my 21st. Um, it's basically just uh, body glitter. And this is from Booty Parlor. And it's called Dust Up Kissable Body Shimmer. I think you can eat it. I think you can literally lick it off. The whole point of this brand is that most of the products are edible, but I, I don't really want to eat it, so I probably won't be attempting that because it's glittery. <laughs> I find that a bit strange. But um, it's marshmallow gold, and it's it does smell like marshmallows. It smells amazing. And it has a little puff, and you just basically put all the gold shimmer all over you. And this is for when I dress up as Cleopatra and just, I'm going to put gold everywhere. Everything's going to be gold and I'm going to have tan skin and it's going to be amazing. <laughs> but I thought that was cute. I like the packaging. So I look nice and glittery for my night out. And it's pink. You can't go wrong with pink. And they had a NYX counter or NYX or whatever you want to call it. Um, that was so crowded. I think a lot of people love NYX. Um, there was, I, I could barely fit through. I had a little basket and I was sort of, I knew what I really wanted from the NYX counter. So I could have, I kind of just dashed in between each pe person and grabbed what I wanted. Um, I got the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Um, I really, really wanted this ever since I saw a tutorial by Lisa Eldridge. Um, she was using this in one of her tutorials. I think it was her. Um, and we do have NYX in department stores here, but um, they didn't have this colour. So um, The next thing I got was eyebrow cake powder. And this is in taupe and ash. Um, so obviously it's my colours. I've never used this eye eyebrow powder before. I've only ever used the Body Shop eyebrow powder. Um, so I'm excited to try that out and see how that goes. I think it's got a wax with it as well, a setting wax. Um, and then I got some eyelashes. Um, they're the natural ones. These are called Rumor. And these are Disco Queen. 
I thought they were fancy. They kind of remind me of something Katy Perry would wear. 